Good morning, everybody. Good morning. I want to start off with a statement that I got from AfricaImports.com. Brightly colored instead of drab, loose instead of tight, worn outside the pants instead of tucked in. It could be worn definitely on occasions that normally would call for a tie and shirt. And that was from a statement from AfricaImports.com. First question. Can anybody guess what I have on? No, <laughs> oh, baby. That sheep. All right. <laughs> Clothing is a way to express yourself in your culture. I will be talking about the history of dashiki, the people who wear them, and the significance of them. I know you wonder, like, what's my connection with this? Well, it's simple. My father, Anemuhan O. Godfrey, was born in Nigeria, in Lagos to be exact, and he came to America in 1986. And actually, he just came back from Nigeria on my birthday, April 9th, and he brought me back this. And I grew up seeing my father with this on. My mother is from America, but I grew up seeing these, but never really went forth to actually get some information about them. So to begin, history is important. Uh, first, I'll start off with a definition. A dashiki is a loose-fitting pullover shirt, usually sewn from colorful African-inspired cotton prints or from solid color fabrics, often with patch pockets and em embroidery at the neck and on the cuffs. Sometimes dashikis could be long, they could have long sleeves, or they could be, they could have the shirt, the pants, the hat, they could all, all types of colors, just depending on you. So today I just have on the shirt. And I got this from, um, excuse me, I believe it's Angela S. and Cartier.net. So next, I'll start out with the origination. The Shikis were originated in Nigeria and many other African countries, mostly in West and in East Africa. The Dashiki, Dashiki is a long word from the West African Yoruba tribe. Um, in other countries, I'll say in Nigeria, Africa, there, and even though in Nigeria by itself, it's a lot of different tribes. So mostly it's uh, originated from the Yoruba tribe. And I also got the, uh, my father actually also, when I talked to him about it, he actually explained to me that it is mostly West and East Africa. Now I will show you other pictures of uh, people who wear dashikis. It's not only men. But in the beginning, they were originally made just for men. Here's a couple men wearing dashikis. As you see, as I explained before, they have the shirt, the pants. As you see, his is longer than his. And uh, these are actually really some bland colors for uh, some bland colors. But women wear dashiki dresses. So, of course, you wouldn't see a man wearing a dress. So it's significant for women. It brings out, you know, style for a woman. Kids also wear dashikis. And last but not least, even Stevie Wonder wore a dashiki. So that goes to show that, you know, it swayed from all the way from a whole nother country to America. Last, I will talk about the significance of dashikis. In the African culture, well, in the African culture and in the American culture, in African culture, dashikis were worn initially for comfort in the hot climate. Instead of wearing something all tight, you know, instead of, you know, in the heat, I mean, excuse me, when it's hot outside, you tend to sweat. So it was worn for comfortability. And it was also worn as a sign of, um, how do I want to say this, significant to the culture. You know, it wasn't taken out of context. It was something that was dear to them. But uh, the dashiki found a market in America during the black cultural and political struggles in the 1960s. It was a symbol that stood for black is beautiful. So as it came to America, they changed it. It became a trend, more of just a style, and it took away from the uniqueness of what it actually represented and where it originated from. Um, and last but not least, a concluding statement. Um, Next time, try Dashiki <coughs> instead of that old shirt and tie.
disrespect.